And with all of Mandel's recent troubles, we decided to take a closer look at his history and when it all began. CBS 19's Gerardo Martinez is in the studio now to break it down for us and tells us what these Texans, including Mandel's grandparents, have to say about the fallout. Gerardo? Well, his troubles go back as far as his time with the Aggies. Now, if you recall, he got in trouble for underage drinking, fighting, and we're now seeing the same thing bleeding in, into his time with the Browns. And while this hometown boy may be beloved here by most, some are starting to feel a bit let down. Johnny Football made a name for himself as an Aggie. Unfortunately, it was on and off the field. In 2012, the quarterback was arrested for fighting, using a fake ID to drink, and was briefly suspended by Texas A&M. Fast forward to August 2013, when he was in the center of an NCAA investigation. The Heisman Trophy winner was accused of accepting money for his autograph signings. And things seemed to be turning around for Manziel when he was signed by the Browns in May 2014, but it seems that wasn't the case. A year ago, Menzel checked into rehab for alcohol abuse, and around eight months later... Are they physically fighting at this time? Oh, baby, please! Another run-in with the law when police in Ohio pulled him over for an alleged domestic dispute with his girlfriend. And that brings us to last week, with yet another alleged domestic violence incident with his girlfriend. Tonight, we talked to East Texans to see what they think of Johnny's troubles, and they had mixed feelings on the local football star. Doesn't matter if he's a local boy or not, he needs help. He needs to get professional help. Hopefully <clears throat> another team will pick him up or look at him down the road. He's been out of East Texas for a while. You know, he, the power, I think, has gone to his little head and little celebrity status, and uh, it, it tends to, to hurt some people sometimes in their personal life. They might be being a little too harsh on him. You know, you don't know what issues he's dealing with right now. Menzel's grandparents briefly spoke to us off camera. They said they're worried about Johnny and hope he gets the help that he needs. Now, I reached out to Johnny's father for comment, but he has not returned our phone calls. In the studio, Gerardo Martinez, CBS 19.